<coughs> so we have <coughs> only about 40 minutes to teach, <laughs> so not much time. <coughs> so we go to the you know, the 15 Rupa Vajra Chaitas. So <coughs> actually it begins from for number 44, no? So, number 44 is here. So we, no, we give the topic here, find material sphere consciousnesses. So the Brahma realms are called find material sphere. Now the materiality that make up their body is, is finer than the materiality that make up our body. So, and there is also one reason we cannot see no, the, the Brahmas. Now there are 15 Rupa Vajra Chaita. No, Rupa Vajra Chaita, which are divided into three groups in the same way as we have divided the 24 no, Nikama Vajra Sovana Chaita into three groups equally. So we have five Rupa Vajra Kusala Chaita. No? So we we call we can also call it rupa jhana moral consciousnesses and then five rupa vajra vipaka chaita vipaka is resultant not the result of the the kama rupa jhana resultant consciousness and when the not the, the arahats they undertake this meditation and they can develop the the Rupa Vajra Kriya Chaita. So Rupa Jhana functional consciousnesses. So a person whose rebirth consciousness is associated with wisdom. So again here, not we, uh, we, uh, we have just talked about the rebirth consciousness. So if you perform meritorious deeds, not just like now listening to the, uh, the Buddha Abhidhamma now, so if you don't have you know, the knowledge of karma and result, you have only two roots, alopa, adosa. No, only two roots. So when the, the, this karma bears out, you are also born a two-root person. So no, you you, you are born with mahavipaga chaita, associated with only these two roots, alopa, adosa. No, so no, we say no wisdom. With, no rebirth wisdom, no rebirth wisdom. No? And then if you perform meritorious with the knowledge of karma, no? so in your moral consciousness, all three no, moral roots associate, then we say it is three-rooted karma. And then it will produce three-rooted rebirth. So no, in your rebirth consciousness, you have consciousness and you have wisdom. So you are more intelligent to that person. So if you are not a tree-rooted person, you cannot get uh, the jhana in this life. However much you, no, you meditate, you cannot get it. Only if you are a tree-rooted person, no, you can develop the rupa vajra jhana. And then, the uh, who are associated you know, with wisdom in their rebirth consciousness, so and who are not yet in our heart, may develop the five Rupa Vajra Kusra Chaitas, one after another, by undertaking tranquility meditation, we call Samatha, you know, Bhavana, such as meditating on Kasina or on respiration. On respiration is the, you know, the we, we also call it no, the anapanasti, mindfulness of your in-breath and out-breath. And nowadays in most meditation center, so now we start teaching the, the anapanasti to develop the, 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 the five rupa vaja jhana. But here we, we, we are going to describe the kasina meditation. Because only if you develop the five rupa vaja jhana, with Kasina meditation, you can go higher to Arupa Vajra Jhana. No? So we, we describe with the, Kusra, the Kasina meditation. 
Rupa Vajra Vipaka Chaitas are the karma resultants of this Rupa Vajra Gusra Chaita. They are the rebirth consciousness of Rupa Brahmas and then the a person who has acquired the first Rupa Vajra Kusala Chaita and if he can maintain it till he dies so he will be reborn in the first Rupa Jhana realm. Now with the first Rupa Vajra Vipaka Chaita as his rebirth consciousness, life continuum and death consciousness. So now no, by learning the Abhidhamma we know now how to do meritorious deeds. No? So we, we can do no, almsgiving, to start the observing moral precept and undertaking meditation. So by doing this we are developing those three moral roots. No? Alopa, Adosa and Amoha. No? We are doing that. And then no, we, we now know that these are no, the higher no, the higher moral minds. So they are much higher than our the no, the, the Kama Vajra Kusla Chaita. Kama Vajra Kusla Chaita will give rebirth only in human realm or six celestial realm. No, six celestial realm. No, you can make a wish where you are you will be born by doing that meritorious deeds. So you will be born in that no, the, in that realm. No? So to get to the higher state. No, the Brahma is much more no, the, the powerful than the, the devas and they are also they enjoy greater no, greater bliss, no peace, greater peace and greater bliss. And then if Arahas undertaken this the meditation, they will develop five the Kriya Chaitas. So hence Rupa Vajra Kusra Chaita and Rupa Vajra Kriya Chaitas are experienced in the sense sphere as well as in the fine material sphere. So when you are born in the Brahma, no, your rebirth consciousness is the Rupa Vajra Vipaka Chaita. No? So only Rupa, the, the, and then you are living with the Rupa, the, the, the Jhana bliss in the Rupa realm. Now what is Jhana? So there is a good question also. No, we say Jhana is mental absorption. When the mind remains focused on the counter sign of meditation for one hour, two hours or more. It is a combination of jhana factors. So in Bali we call jhanengas is jhana factors. And these factors number five in total. So they are neutral mental factors. So we are making use of the neutral mental factors. <laughs> So by developing them, you will get you no. Know, you will get the jhana state. You know? So you no, know, we can read together. Vitekka is initial obligation. You now that applies the mind to the sense object. So now you are you not know, looking at this thing. So you are applying your mind you know, towards this object. So that, that is vitekka. And then you know, the vitekka applies the mind towards various objects. So after the applies here, it will apply another uh, another object again. So the mind is running from one you no know, one sense object to another. So vichara you know, is a follower actually. So it is sustained obligation that examines the sense object again and again. So by doing like this, you know, it keeps the mind you know, on this subject you know, by examining again and again. And then PT is joy or pleasurable interest in the sense object. So when you have joy in observing a sense object, you like to observe it longer. No, you observe. So it keeps the mind longer in the in the sense object. And then that PT also gives rise to no, the pleasant feeling. So Vedana feeling or sensation. And then Vedana is very important also. There are, there, are these, uh, there are two kinds of Vedana that occur in jhanas and they are sukha, pleasant feeling. So when we say pleasant feeling, no, it means no, pleasant mental feeling as well as pleasant bodily feeling. And then upika is neutral feeling and we call also call equanimity. 
no, equanimity. So no, the mind no, the remains focused on that the sense object. So without any no, the worry or anything like that, so equanimity is, is also it is peaceful, no, pe peacefulness. And then ikakada, ika means one, ikakada means one pointedness. So it is also mean concentration in Pali we call samadhi. So the five jhana factors, no? So by developing them, then no, we can develop the jhana. Now, vitaka, vichara, piti, sukha or upika, and also ikakada. Ah, the sika, no, it's moral, moral men, mental factors that c can keep the mind fixed on one object, and they can be developed and strengthened, no, strengthened by tranquility meditation. So tranquility meditation means samatha bhavana. So our mind is normally not tranquil and not calm. It is constantly agitated by five hindrances and we call in Pali nivaranas, no, nivaranas, namely no, send desire, send desire as we call kamachanda, no, kamachanda. So it actually send desire means the, the, the lopa again, no, lopa. So and then evil is byabada and also mean dosa, you know, evil. And then slot and topa, we call it tina meda. No, it is, it is the it the mate, no, that the mind to be inactive, to become lazy and idle. No, the, the slot and topa, and then restlessness, no, restlessness of the mind, and remorse, and also it can mean worry. So they mean udaja. The restlessness is the udaja. Remorse is kukucha. Kukucha, so no, the, the <coughs> and then sceptical doubt, having the doubt about the Buddha, the Dhamma, the Sangha is we call sceptical doubt, and the, they are also no, the these are immoral mental factors, all these all these five. So no, the sand desire is lopa, evil is dosa, and sloth and topa. No, so the uh, the, uh, the, 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 the sort and do by Tina Maida, so they are also they, they belong to immoral mental factors. All these are immoral mental factors, restlessness of the mind, and then the no the kukucha, remorse, and then sceptical doubt. No, they are also the immoral mind, and usually, no, when we have no, the lopa mula chaita or dosa mula chaita arises. So no, ignorance always associated with with this in moral minds, and then this no, we have seen that no, in the two moha mula chaita, one is associated with restlessness, and one is associated with the sceptical doubt. So when you have sceptical doubt and or restlessness arising in your mind, you are also having in the moha mula chaita arising. No, so. These hindrances are our internal, no, internal enemies. We might say it. No, so as I told you, no, this, uh, the, 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 no, the, the <coughs> these immoral mental factors, they lie latent or dormant in our mind all the time. No, so since we we get the, the rebirth consciousness rises. They already come along with rebirth consciousness as late and defilement. So when sense object no, come in contact with all the six sense door, and the mind door is the Bhavinga Chaita, is the mind door. Remember the Bhavinga Chaita, the Mahavipaka Chaita, the Sabesma, the Bhavinga Chaita? We just, we just talked about, uh, about them. <laughs> so we call them the, the mind door, they arise in the heart in the blood of the heart. No? So the mind door is very, in, very powerful, much powerful than this five sense door. No? Science know and the people know only these five doors. No? So the, the, the mind door is much, much important, much, much important. 
Like the past, uh, not the all the, the ultimate mentally materially, they appear in the mind door. Not in the eye door, you cannot see. But they appear in the mind door. And you can see them with the mind door cognitive series, uh, consciousnesses. You can see them. So now there are these uh, internal enemies. And then you know, we, uh, these so the five jhana factors will suppress them. Will suppress them. No? So that they will not arise in the mind. No? Very, very scientific actually. Now we go send desire. No? So the way they influence our mind. Send desire is uh, the low part, we say. Influences the mind to be wandering about sensuous objects. No? From one object to another object which it has enjoyed before. So now your mind will go to the places you have you, know, you have the, uh, the enjoy before to your to your house your family to your friend and to your office etc. And then it will agitate the mind by taking notice of painful feeling or disagreeable things, sloth and torpor, and restlessness, and remorse, and sceptical doubt. They blind the mind, you know, the mental vision and disturbs the concentration. So as they make the mind you know, wandering and restless, you know, so having doubt, so they make the mind you know, the, to be, you know, the, to be you know, so not powerful, not active, you might say, you know, when you can constrict them, the mind, you know, the mind not wandering, just fixed in one sense, uh, sense object, they become very powerful, very powerful. You know? So now, Lord Buddha compares sense desire with water mixed with many, no, many four colors. So if you put no, many kinds of uh, dyes in water, what, what would be the color of the water? It would be very dark. You cannot see your reflection in there. And also, no, the, 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 he compare evil with boiling water. So in boiling water, it boiling like that, so you cannot see your reflection also. Slot and topper with water covered with mosses. So if the, uh, the water is covered with mosses, you cannot see your reflection in it. And restlessness and remorse are compared with the agitated water. Again, you cannot see your reflection. So you now the agitated water whipped by the wind. And then septical doubt with turbid or muddy water. Now just in such water, no, you cannot perceive your own reflection. So in the presence of these five hindrances, no, one cannot clearly see one's own benefit, nor that of others, nor that of both. <coughs> so the uh, our uh, the, no. <coughs> We say we call them the hindrances because you know, they obstruct, they obstruct, they block the arising of moral minds. You know? So they are, they, they are you know, immoral mental factors, they give rise only to immoral minds. So they, they block you not to, not, not, not to develop moral mind. Even you perform meritorious deeds, they still block you so that no, the moral mind cannot arise. And so long they are in your mind, no, they are disturbing in your mind, you can never get jhana, mega, and pala. No, you cannot develop jhana, and in Vipassana meditation, you cannot develop the path wisdom and the fusion wisdom. So in meditation, no? so we now we, we, we tell you how to do the, <coughs> no, the casino meditation. So these hindrances can be overcome and temporarily dismissed by tranquility meditation, samatha bhavana. We may choose but we casino, the art this, <coughs> or art casino as an object of meditation. So an artist is made by smearing on a canvas or a mat with dawn color clay. 
So dawn color gray, dark color of the dawn. So we might say orange color, no, orange color. <coughs> so you have to get you know, the, the, that orange color clay, and then you, you, know, you <coughs> clear, clear from the dirt, you know, from the, from the, from the, the sticks or something like that, like that. And then you make, you, know, you, you apply it on a, on a mat or a canvas. You, know, you make it uh, in the form of a circle. So we also say here, by smearing on a canvas or mat with dawn color clay, and this canvas is placed on the earth when the earth this is reflected upon. So the size, <coughs> not the size of the, 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 that, uh, that casino should be, they say, no? so one span, no? one span and four fingers. So it is about four feet or one feet. So not 12 to 15 inches, you, you can make it. So and on the, no, it, you, it should be the earth. No, you cannot make any, any uh, <laughs> with, with dye, no, with painting, you cannot, you cannot use it. You have to use the, the real art, not the real art. No? And, then, and then when you meditate, you have to put it on the earth. You have to, have to put it on the earth. Then you sit about four feet no, from that, from that at this, and then on a stool about one foot high. No? So if it is too, too, too high, it's not good. And too, too low is not good, they say. And now you, you, no, you, you, <coughs> you have to look at the, that at this with open eyes. Now we say sitting at ease on a stool of one foot high, then two and a half jupits, they say, that is about four feet away from the Addis. And one concentrates on the Addis, no, the saying mentally or reflecting mentally, patwi, patwi. Patwi means ad, ad, actually. So, no moral minds accompanied by five jhana factors arise by billions every second when you undertake meditation. So, no. <coughs> as you look your your picture in the mirror, so you look at that that you know, the the Addis with you not know, the moderately open eyes, and then you, know, you keep you keep your attention fixed you know, on on this, you not know, the on the Addis, and then you meditate patui patui mentally. Now, you no know, the. <coughs> You are developing moral minds. You know, Why you are developing? Uh, you are reflecting that. Uh, you no, know, reflecting on the, the, the on the others. and then the, these five jhana factors. You no, know, they associate you know, with the, the moral minds, and they also associate with immoral minds. You know, like greed, root that consciousness. You now, when you are enjoying sense pleasure, they also in, uh, associate with the greed, root that consciousness. And you get the pleasant feeling, you know, in enjoying sense pleasure because of this PT and the sukha. You now PT is joy and the, you know, the sukha is, you know, the, we also call it happiness, or you know, it is you know, the pleasant mental feeling or bodily feeling. So when you get this, so you, you enjoy the sense pleasure. You know, but when you enjoy sense pleasure, this PT and the you know, sukha, they are not very high. So you don't get no, great bliss, you don't get it. And then that we, you know, it is associated with the, you know, in the more, the greed, root that consciousness, greed and ignorance are present. They are regarded as the, the hottest fires. So if they are associated with the hottest fires, no, you don't get real happiness actually. No, so when here, not in moral minds, so no greed, no no in ignorance, so only you no know, moral minds are arising. Now the five factors of jhana are being developed slowly. Now the initial obligation, you no know, we we are this we take uh, applies the mind to the earth this, and it temporarily inhibits slot and topa not to arise. So slot and topa. No, so not to arise. 
no, slot and top bar is here. No, the, the, the pi hindrances, no, so you, you get slot and top bar. So, no, so the we take, uh, no, the, 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 it suppresses the, the slot and top bar not to arise. And then we have the, the another uh, again. So, uh, here, and then it temporarily inhibits slot and top bar not to arise. And sustained obligation. No, this sustained obligation is vichara, no, vichara. So the sustained obligation, no, the vichara sustains the mind on the addis by examining the object, no, the addis again and again. It also temporarily inhibits septical doubt, no, which it not to arise. So the septical doubt, no, we, no, no, just, just here, no. Oh, maybe here, no septical doubt. No, no, only here. Oh, uh, <coughs> uh, here, here, septical doubt is here, no, the vijikecha. And then, so, no, the, the PT, so when it becomes stronger and stronger, so it develops joy or pleasurable interest in the object, it temporarily inhibits evil. No, the, the dosa, evil, no, the, the evil here. So it, it's, uh, and then, PT is also a precursor or forerunner of sukha. So we say PT gives rise to sukha, pleasant feeling. And sukha holds the mind to stay longer, not on the object by its bliss. And it, no, temporarily, so drives away restlessness and remorse. No, that, those are two hindrances. And ekagata one pointedness unites the chitta and its con concomitant. So no, the chitta is consciousness. Its concomitant means the mental factors that associate with 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 this mind, with this chitta. So not the chitta and the seeker. So they, then they unite this chaita and jirisika harmoniously and then fix them no? No, at the state of one-pointedness on the Addis. It temporarily inhibits sense desire not to arise. So no, the, the, worst, the worst hindrance is sense desire, this low power. No? So when the hindrances subside temporarily, the mind does not wander away from the object as frequently as before, and a weak degree of concentration is attained. At the stage of, uh, at this stage, no, one can see the Addis with closed eyes as one has seen it with open eyes. This visualized image is called the learning sign or the acquired sign, Okaha Namita. So when we first no, the, the meditate on the Addis, so no, the, we are meditating, no, the, so usually we use the Patui, Patui, the Pali name. No, the Patui, Patui, Patui. So no, because of these hindrances, no, they, they always influence the mind. Your mind is, not, no, no, is restless and wandering, no, wandering. It, 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 it don't stay very long. But no, you just try, if the, the, the uh, mind wanders away, call it back, put it on the, on the, 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 the Addis again. Just try to fix your Addis. So slowly you will see that while you are meditating, no, the moral minds will arise one after another. And then no, they give you no, the, 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 the Aliyah. No, the, and so when the moral minds arises, the five jhana factors arise together. So when they arise again and again, no, they become stronger and stronger. And then they, they can suppress no, their, their hindrances. So as the hindrances become no, less and less, so you can, you can focus your mind longer and longer on, on, on the others. And when you can, no, the, you can concentrate on that others no, up to one hour every sitting, then we say you close your eyes, no? 
intermittently. No, intermittently. No? If you close your eyes, you cannot see the adhesa. Then you open your eyes, keep on meditating again. So when you get a little con good condition, uh, no good concentration, try to close this again. And at one stage, no, when you attain no, the sudden the concentration, no, when you close your eyes, you can see the others with closed eyes, as you have seen with open eyes. So we say, no, as by reflecting that, no, that uh, that at this no, again and again, so no, the, 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 the image of that no, the appear and no, it, it, it remains fixed in the in the mind door in the mind doors actually there no? and uh, when we, we are looking <laughs> so here so actually it, we also no, the see with the, with the mind door also and now when we we can no, the with close eye you can see no, the the at this we call it the, the learning sign or the acquired sign. Then you continue meditation with closed eyes, focusing on this acquired sign, and then you just med uh, meditate, but we, but we, but we again. And then again your concentration will be rising slowly, and then at a sudden stage no, that we call when when we reach you know, the neighborhood concentration, so that stage is we call the neighborhood concentration, neighborhood of the first the, the jhana, no, the first jhana. So the sign suddenly changes its color and appearance. It becomes many times brighter and is as smooth as the uh, as the surface of a mirror, and the change is like taking a mirror out of its wrapped leather case. So you know, if you put it in the mirror in its leather case and you handle it uh, you know, very often, it becomes dirty. Now when you pull out the mirror you know, the, from the leather case, so you know, it is smooth and bright, so the, 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 you know, just like that. And the new sign is known as the counter sign, Pati Bhaga Namita. So you know, when you attain the counter sign, so you say you attain neighborhood concentration, no neighborhood concentration. So it is the entrance of the first jhana. So you should be very happy no? if you can get the counter sign. And of course, if you can concentrate your mind very well, you can get these uh, these signs very you know, very quickly actually. Now when you get the counter sign, no so. We say as soon as the counter sign arises, the concentration, no, we call in Pali Samadhi, reaches a place known as Upachara Samadhi. Upachara Samadhi means neighborhood concentration or excess concentration. At this stage, the five jhana factors become no, distinct and very strong. Piti and Sukha are so predominant that the meditation, no, the meditator no, experiences no, ecstatic joy, no, that means very great joy and bliss which he has never experienced before. So we say no, this bliss is much better than sensual pleasure. No? So some people, no, we know only sensual pleasure to be you not know, the object of the enjoyment we think you no know? so you now if we can do this meditation you no know, you get you actually you get very great you know, karma billions of good karma every second and then you can enjoy you no know, great the bliss and the, uh, the 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 pleasure here now we go on you no know? so we say he now let the bhakti bhagana mita spread endlessly in all directions by his willpower and meditates but we but we as before so now when you get this uh, the counter sign not to be well established no it becomes permanent then you enlarge it no you so this you know, the counter sign appears by your mind power and then by your mind power you can enlarge it so you now with close eye, no, you are you are seeing it. 
Now you you just make a wish. Let no the the artist, so the the, the counter sign, no grows larger by one inch, another inch, another inch, another inch. Slowly you can increase it until it fills all directions. So in the no the casino meditation, we usually do like this. You know, we do uh, we we have to expand the counter sign. I think you no know, the idea is you no know, the, the after we attain you know, the, all the the eight jhanas on the casino meditation, we can develop the super normal power. You no, know, if you enlarge it, you no, know, so to all directions. So when you you can see all the objects in this in this area. <laughs> so. So, so, so for them not to see you know, very large area, so they, they, they enlarge the, you know, the counter sign. Now after you enlarge it, then you know, the, the counter sign to out all directions. You just keep your you know, mind focused on that counter sign and reflect, but we, but we, but we. And if your mind remains you know, absorbed, you know, the, the fix on that counter sign for one hour, two hours, then we say, you attain the first jhana. Then you should be very happy. <laughs> if you attain the jhana, no, it's very, very, it's, no, so the Buddha admired no, the, the person who can develop the jhana. So we you know, the Buddha called jhana as a special attainment. No, special attainment. And he also said, now if the person, you attain the, the jhana, and you know how to do vipassana correctly, you are very close to nibbana. Very close to nibbana. No? So if you can attain it, no? so you can, you, you can meditate by yourself, now you know, now you know the way. No? So, okay, let's uh, read a little more. No? So we attain the first rupa vaja jhana. Then, no, he can develop the jhana again and again by meditation on the counter sign. If he practices well, he can remain in absorption for one hour, two hours, one day, two days, up to seven days. So actually it's very difficult to, <laughs> to develop up to seven days. No? Like in the, you know, the, um, our, the, the forest meditation center, Many person can now develop the, the jhana in this way. No, can, can develop the jhana. So to remain, you know, even up to three hours, you have to practice very, very much you know, to, uh, to, uh, to, to get that. And then, you know, so for one hour, two hours, one day, or up to seven days, so you know, they say if you practice very well, you can remain. No, seven days, seven days in the jhana state. So when no, in the jhana state, no, so it doesn't mean that no, you, 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 uh, no, you, you don't know anything at that time. Your, may, your mind is very alert, very pure and very clear and you are no, the focusing only on that counter sign. So if you are, no, your mind remains no, fixed on that counter sign. So, now we say the five door activities are no, temporarily suspended. So you don't know what is up here in the mind, <laughs> in the eye, in the ear. So you don't, you don't hear anything. No, you don't see, uh, the, no, since you are seeing only that the others, the, the, the counter sign, then you don't see any other thing. No, so even the mosquito bites you, you don't know. So no, but, uh, the, when you can stay for seven days, so that means no, you stay motionless if you are sitting, no, motionless. So you don't need to go to the toilet and you, you don't feel hungry. <laughs> so it's quite good if you don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> so if you run out of the money, then just to love the car. <laughs> the <jana. laughs> you don't need to eat. <laughs> okay. So during this absorption, no, there is a complete, though temporarily, suspension of the five-four 
sense activity. So these five doors, uh, they are close, uh, that is temporally. So, and then, th though temporally, suspension of five four sense object and of the five no, hindrances. So the five hindrances do not arise anymore. The state of consciousness is, however, very alert and very lucid. No, your mind remains very alert and lucid. So those who want to enjoy aesthetic bliss greater than sensual pleasure should undertake tranquility meditation. There are no, the meditation centers, now for example, the Pauret Meditation Center, where we, you can develop the jhana no, there at the present time. So in the first jhana, all the five jhana factors are present. Then by meditating on the counter sign of Patvigasina further and eliminating no, the lower jhana factors one by one, a person can attain the higher jhanas and he attains the second jhana when Viteka is eliminated. And then the third jhana when Vichara is further eliminated and you attain the fourth jhana when the PT is also eliminated and finally you attain the fifth jhana when Sukha is no, the, uh, replaced by Upika. So, so actually, you know, when you first attain the jhana, the jhana chitta arises only once, only once. But when you practice, you know, the, by watching that counter sign, you reflect again, you can develop the jhana again. So by, you know, by practicing to develop the jhana again and again and again and again, you can develop the jhana even in one instant, you know, once like that. And then we say you have to practice to no to attain no mastery no in five ways with respect to the first jhana. So part first is you have to discern the, the jhana factors, the five jhana factors where they are they are you no know, they are they remain very strong and distinct. And then the second is you no know, they try to develop the, the jhana quickly so that you can develop it very quickly. And then, you know, the, 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 the third time, so we call it, you know, you, you t when you develop the jhana, you can make the wish. May I remain in the jhana for five minutes? If you can remain for five minutes, you can increase for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, one hour, two hours. So we say th three hours, one day, two day. You know? So you just, by practicing that, you, know, you can, you can uh, increase the time. You know, the, of remaining in the jhana state, so you can no, you can you 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 can make no predetermination, no. So when I attain the jhana, may I be able to to remain in the jhana state, no, for one hour, two hour. So whatever you you know you you determine you you can attain it. So we say you get mastery of no the the, the on this jhana, and then also we say. No, that there is only to come out of the jhana. You can also make the, the, the decision again. Now it is no, 10 a.m. already, <laughs> 10 p.m. already. So no, so may I be remain in the jhana state, uh, and I come out of the jhana at 11 p.m. So no, you you enter the jhana. So we say when you are in the jhana, you don't know any other thing. Only the the, the counter sign you are knowing it. And also you are enjoying the, the, the great bliss of the, the jhana. So at 11 p.m. you automatically you will, you will come out. So that is, you know, if you can practice like this, so you say you attain mastery in five ways. So only after you attain the, the mastery, you should you know, develop the second, the, uh, the rupa vajra jhana. You know, the second rupa jhana. So when you develop the second rupa jhana, now you should uh, the develop the first jhana first, come out, and then try to to to, you know, to examine the jhana factors. So you will find that now we take uh, no, is weak and uh, it is uh, it we take uh, no. Though when you attain the jhana, we say you can no, you can uh, the get away the, the the hindrances, but the hindrances are no. 
the, the, the enemy actually, they are waiting to come into your mind again. So Vitekha is the one, no, otherwise the mind to them. No? So the various sense of death we remember, no, the Vitekha, it applies the mind no, to any sense of death that you have seen before, then you are out of the jhana. You come out of the jhana. So it becomes you know, the enemy of the, the, the jhana. So we, you, know, we, you, we, you eliminate Vitekha. So, and then you, you, know, you, you wish to attain the second jhana, which is more peaceful and more blissful than the first jhana. So with that intention, you, you may, uh, meditate on the counter sign again. Now you don't, you don't uh, apply your mind like, you know, patavi, patavi, you don't apply your mind anymore. You keep your mind fixed on that. <laughs> so with that car, do not, uh, it's not necessary. So if you uh, practice that uh, the, without Viteka, no, if you can remain in the, no, the so you have to, inc to increase the strength of the, the, the remaining four men of the jhana factors, only then you can keep your mind fixed uh, no, in, on the counter sign with the second jhana. You attain the second jhana. So then again you, you, know, you practice to gain mastery and then you eliminate vichara. So we say you attain Tata Jhana. Tata Jhana will, you know, will consist only these three positive Jhana factors. Then you, know, you eliminate PT again. So if you don't want joy anymore, so the joy will not arise. So you, know, you can remain focused on the counter sign with only two Jhana factors. You know, that is Sukha and Ikakada. We call it the food Jhana. And in this fourth jhana, sukha is the strongest. So it is the, is the best volley, volley bliss, we say. Now, if you want to enjoy the, the, the highest volley bliss, try to enjoy the, the develop the fourth jhana. And again, if you have the sukha, no, you can uh, the develop the lopa. Lopa is, you know, what likes, uh, it appreciate the, the sukha. So, no, so the, the, to, to prevent uh, the low part to arise, we eliminate sukha again. So instead of sukha, upekha will arise, and then you have the two jhana factor, upekha, ikakata, and we call it the fifth jhana. It's very, very, no, very calm, very tranquil, and they say, you know, they, the, those who attain the, uh, the jhana. So it is most peaceful with the, this fifth jhana. Okay, try try to undertake meditation. No, <laughs> so <laughs> no. Well, well, the meditation centers are waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> so now now we have to stop for today. So the, the you you don't have the, that. <laughs> so tomorrow, please please try to get it. Oh, here here. The gap is here, so we can recite together. Now we say prayers. Imaya, Tamanu, Tamapati Patiya, Bhutambujemi. Imaya, Tamanu, Tamapati Patiya, Tamambujemi.
So tomorrow we can also the thing I give you. So we can tell them how to read the, the body words also tomorrow. Uh, and then we we are people not in my writing for sharing marriage. Okay, may all you be happy and well and may you attain attain the you know, no? So may you be able to develop the jhana very soon and enjoy the jhana place no? and uh, right away. Sati, 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 sati.